Yeah, so I guess like when you do like a website, if it was like only website, do you still do like say stylescapes and that to like build out what it should look like? Yeah, so we do stylescapes differently than um, than Chris in the future has recommended. Um, mm -hmm. they, they do stylescapes kind of like as a preliminary step before design concepts. And I always thought, in for me at least, it adds an unnecessary layer uh, and time to the process. And, uh, and a lot of times the stylescape is still kind of vague to where there's a lot of mental gaps as to how this could look. So when we're doing brand identity, I don't say, okay, here's some stylescapes, which one best fits the, the aesthetic that you're going for. Like I just actually show them comps, logo comps. Uh, okay. and then we'll show up to, uh, up to three, but usually about two, uh, we'll show them two different, uh, examples. Uh, when it comes to web design, um, it's a little bit different in the sense that we're not like creating stylescapes uh, that are, you know, uh, to that look like an identity design. We're showing like actual examples of what the website could look like, like design aesthetics. And so if someone were to come to me, for example, for just a web design, we're not doing brand identity. Uh, they already have their logo. Um, I still kind of have to figure out how we're going to design them. And so in discovery, I look at uh, their current brand. I say like, what are the rules that we're confined to? Like, do we have to use certain colors or certain font types to follow that stuff's already set? If not, then I'll look at um, different competitive websites uh, or design styles. Like I'll, tr I'll really try to refine and narrow down what exactly they're looking for, uh, what design style makes sense for them. So we do a couple different exercises. One is we do a competitive audit uh, to where we're looking at different competitive websites saying what we like, what we don't like. We look at their aspirational neighbors. So people that they um, aspire to be neighbors with. If, you, if your businesses were houses on a block, uh, who would the other businesses in that area be? And then we look at uh, why they are attracted to those uh, people. And so I, I really try to narrow down, like what is the design aesthetic that they're seeing that they like from these um, aspirational neighbors. And then I have a, um, a, a word association exercise to where I have a bunch of words that describe design styles. And I say, what are the three to five words that really stick out that this is this makes sense for our brand? And, um, and then I get that and that helps me and my team figure out the design aesthetic that looks right for them. And so then when after discovery, we present our strategy, we say, here's our wireframes, or here's our site map, uh, our proposed site map, here's our proposed wireframes, here's our proposed design aesthetic. And we'll show an example of one of the wireframes actually designed yeah. as like a, a, a website. This is an actual design, like this isn't a website, but it's like a design comp that we showed the client of like, this is the design style we think makes sense for your website, right? Or uh, here's another one for a different client. Yeah, this is actually a good example because um, it has kind of like the the site map, or I'm sorry, the uh, the main navigation at the top shows, you know, what icons might look like and what their testimonial section might look like, right? Mm -hmm. So this is the design style. Like this is what we would show someone as a quote stylescape if we we're doing web design. Uh, what's interesting? Hold on, Paragon. So would they have a um, brand style guide done already? So yeah, for this company, we actually started with brand identity. So it, it was like we yeah. solidified their brand guides already. So this was kind of like a perfect scenario. <clears throat> uh, and so, but you can see like how close this concept is to mm -hmm. the actual final website. Yeah. Very close. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right? Guys, thank you so much for watching. Click subscribe if you like that video, you wanna see more content. And if you are a creative entrepreneur and you wanna grow your business, check out agency.butlerbranding.com and you'll learn for free the five things we've learned to grow, manage, and scale Butler Branding.